Hi learners, welcome to my YouTube channel. So today we'll do the part two, that is of the same topic. We already done five questions. So the machine can fill 48 containers in six hours. How many containers can be filled in 48 hours? So this one, we can consider this one as X1. So this will be, these are the containers. We want a container, so we can do this one uh, six hours like we can take x1 y1 is going to be th this is 48 containers so now we have to find out the how many containers can be filled in 48 hours so this containers this is going to be because below this containers we can take this containers so this is going to be y2 which we don't know we can write it to question mark and we can put this as x anything we can do it and this is in 48 hours so below this hours we'll take this 48 hours so this will be x2 so this will be x1 y1 x2 and y2 so now what happens here now see here they said in six hours it will fill 48 containers so in 48 hours so the time is increasing from 6 to 48 means the time increases means the containers also should increase so this is a direct variation so for this one we have for using direct variation we can say x1 by y1 is x2 by y2 so this is x1 is 6 y1 is 48 x2 is 48 and y2 we don't know we can just write x or we can just write y2 over here so now when you are going to cross multiply this one so 6 into y2 is going to be 48 into 48 so y2 will be 48 into 48 divided by this will get divided so that is going to be 6 so 6 ones are 6 8s are 48 so this into this that is going to be 384 so y2 is 384 so we can say 384 containers can be filled in 48 hours a fish with a mass of 2 kilogram causes a fishing pole to bend 6 meter if the bending varies directly as the mass, then how much will the fishing pole bend for the 4.5 kilometer fish? So here we can consider this 2 kg as x1. This the bending, it is bending 6 centimeter that will take y1. Now here is, we don't know how much will the fishing pole bend for the, this one. So that will be y2 because that is the here it's given the below this we can write that one and here this is 4.5 kilogram so that mass will write it over here so here the the bending is not known the y2 so we can write here x or we can just put here y2 so now again here this one can you see here when it is 2 kilogram it is 6 so this is increasing the mass is increasing so it is 4.5 means it is a direct variation so we have x1 by y1 is equal to x2 by y2 so we already have the values you are just going to plug in and this now let us keep this y2 itself so now what will be here the we will cross multiply so 2 into y2 is equal to 6 into 4.5 so y2 is 6 into 4.5 this will get divided divided by 2 2 ones are 2 threes are so this is going to be 13.5 so the fishing pole will bend 13.5 centimeter for the 4 kilogram fish here in a camp 105 kilogram of flour is enough for 5 persons find the quantity of flour required for 19 percent this is for 5 percent 105 is required the quantity and for 19 what is the quantity required so from 5 to 19 means this increases so the quantity of flour also should increase so here this is 105 so this also the quantity should increase so now let us write here x1 is 105 y1 is 5 percent we don't know this quantity so we'll put here question mark here so we can write that x2 only and here 19 means we can write here 19 this will be y2 
So now using direct variation, what we can write here, x1 by y1 is x2 by y2. So x1 is uh, given here, y1 is given here 5, x2 we don't know, we'll write x2 as it is, y2 is 19. So when you cross multiply this one, 105 into 19, that will be 5 into x2. So 105 into 19 divided by this 5 will be x2. So 5 ones are 5, 20 ones are. When you multiply this into this, that is going to be 399 kilogram, and which is x2. So we can say 399 kilogram of flour is required for 19 persons. A car uses three liters of petrol to travel a distance of 75 kilometer. How far will the car travel using 12.5 liters of petrol? So X1 is given here for three liters, 75 kilometer. So here the liters are increasing from three to 12.5. So this, the distance also should increase. So this is a direct, it will be variation. So now X1 is 3 liters of petrol, X2 is 75 kilometer, Y1 is here 12.5 liters of petrol and Y2 the distance we don't know. So using direct variation we can write here X1 by Y1 is X2 by Y2. So we will write here we have 3 for X1, Y1 we have 12.5, X2 we have as this is 75 and y2 we don't know so we are going to cross multiply this one so 3 y2 is equal to 12.5 into 75 so y2 will be 12.5 into 75 this is going to get divided by 3 so this will be 25 so when you multiply this into this that is going to be 312.5 kilometer so we can say a car will travel 312.5 kilometer using 12.5 liters of petrol a machine takes 12 hours for cutting 240 tools. How many tools will be will, will be cut in this 25 hours? So now here, this is 12 hours and this is 25 hours. Means this is increasing. The number of hours increases means the you will need more number of tools. So this is a direct variation. So this is x1. This is y1. This will be, we can also call this as x2. This will be y1. And this is going to be, we don't know what is y2. So using direct variation, x1 by y1 is equal to x2 by y2. So this will be 12. So here we can write here y1 as 25. This is 240. And y2 is, we can keep as it is. So now when you cross multiply this one, so 12 into y2, that is going to be 25 into 240. So y2 is going to be 25 into 240. And this will get divided. So 12 ones are 12, 20 is are. So this is going to be 500 tools. So y2 is 500 tools. So we can say 500 tools will be Cutting 25 hours. A car can cover a distance of 210 kilometer in 5 hours. So how much time will it take to cover a distance of 545, 46 kilometer traveling at the same speed? So this is 210. This is 546. So this increases means this number of hours also should increase. So this is a direct variation. So x1 is 210. x2 is given as 5 hours. y1 is 546. And we don't know what is y2. So using direct variation, again, we can write x1 by y1 is equal to x2 by y2. So this 201 here, 210, sorry. This is going to be 546. This will be 5. And we don't know what is y2. So again, this we are going to cross multiply. So this is going to be 210 into y2 is equal to be 5 into 546. So y2 is 5 into 546. And this will go here. That is going to be 210. 
So here we can write here 5 ones are 5 forty twos are and 42 13 are that is going to be you can divide and see 546 divided by 42. So 42 ones are 42. So this is going to be 216. So this will be 3 and 26. So this there will be y2 is 13 hours. So therefore it will take 13 hours to cover the distance of 546 kilometer. So by this one we have completed today's work. Do like and subscribe to my channel so you get the notification of the other parts. Thank you.